Hello outdoor eaters and welcome back. Today we are making comfort food and I will show you my take on it. Yes, I am talking about a burger. So join me and I will show you how I did it. Because that day we were not 100% sure about the weather, we decided to build our kitchen under a bridge. As always, the first two things to do are to build your fireplace and to gather some wood. Have you ever wondered what is the absolute best way to start a fire? Well, just use a drone. My friend had the idea and it was just brilliant. I mean, look at this! Our fire was nice and going in less than a minute. <laughs> and finally our little improvised kitchen was ready but we were not done playing with our new toy let's move on and start with our recipe I really wanted the burger to have a sweet and sour taste so I started by making some caramelized onions. First thing is to put some olive oil in a pan, add the onions. We're going to be cooking them on medium heat. Then add about two tablespoons of sugar. A little bit of salt. 3 tablespoons of white wine vinegar I am also going to be making a salad with some fresh spinach sun dried tomatoes add the tomatoes to the spinach add also some salt olive oil and some pepper now give it a nice mix and your salad is done after 10 to 15 minutes the onions are also going to be ready so remove them from the fire I also made a sauce and for that I started with some mayonnaise Add some sweet chili sauce, just a bit of white wine vinegar and also some pepper. Now combine all of the ingredients very well. I have decided to make my own burgers, so I have started with cleaning some veal. And remember, if you're making your burger with just a knife, you need to be extra careful and remove all of those hard parts. But I always recommend to use a meat grinder, it will make your job much easier and you will get a better result. I won't be using my meat grinder today, because sadly it needs electricity to function. I have decided to use veal because it's extra tender but the problem with this meat is that it doesn't have a lot of fat and that just won't make a nice burger this is why I have decided to add also some Italian sausage first thing that we need to do is to remove that skin after you open it up remove the skin with your fingers
Now combine the meat very well, because that fat sausage needs to get everywhere. And now we can start making our burger patties. I have never seen anyone use this kind of blend, so I am crossing my fingers and I hope that it will do fine on the grill. And finally our little burger patties were done. The next step is to make some bacon. Every great burger always has bacon. Come on, just look at that fat sizzling. And what about the sound? There is just nothing better than this. Now it's time to put our burgers on. But then, when I have seen the buns, I have realized that I made a tiny mistake. The burgers that I made are a little bit too small for that big bun. But anyway, this is not a big deal. It will just look a little bit funny in the end. After a few minutes of cooking, it was finally time to turn the burgers on the other side. The next step is to add some cheddar cheese. I did not have that much room on that grill anymore, but I have decided to slightly toast the buns anyway and to warm them up. Finally, all the ingredients were ready and we can now start making some burgers. I will start by spreading some sauce on the bread. The cheese has melted very nicely and the burger is also cooked by now, so I took it and put it on the bread. That tiny burger really looks a little bit funny on that huge bun, but what really matters here is the taste. Nothing can possibly go wrong because we have bacon. Bacon makes everything so beautiful and much better tasting of course. Then I added the onions and the whole thing starts looking very pretty. Another cheesy burger. Look how cheesy that thing is! And when you just keep adding stuff to the burger and that stuff is just falling off, this is the sign that you made a great burger. One more thing that I really love about this burger is how colorful it is. And that's it guys, our burgers are done. Believe me if I tell you that the taste was phenomenal, because the whole thing was very well balanced. It was sweet, it was sour, it was crunchy, it was cheesy, it was creamy. The vegetables gave some freshness, the dried tomatoes and the bacon made it so umami. So yeah, I loved it. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you would like to make me very very happy please make sure to subscribe to the channel, it will be an absolute pleasure for me to have you. And remember to follow me also on Instagram.